God. I swear to God, they're gonna put the bomb making crap on my hands again. Alright, good morning, everyone. Make sure. <laughs> Poor timing. <laughs> it's somewhere between fucking o'clock and normal time, right? Still waiting. Did you get a frap? Yeah. Of course you did. <laughs> I feel their pain when you order a frap. Because each one, each one, everybody here is like coffee, 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 coffee. You? A lot of work. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> My body is ready. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Not enough sugar, man. <laughs> Paid 20 bucks for better seats and then was in the restroom when they called him. <laughs> cool. Sure. I gotta do the extendo belt out. <laughs> nice and comfy. <laughs> seats taken. Small portable electronic devices and cell phones traveling here. It is like trying to game 50 feet. Well, good morning, folks. You two pilots like to walk me aboard South Plus Flight 5559 or we're out to Phoenix, Arizona. We're sure glad to have you guys with us today. We have 648. Fuck it, a clock. <laughs> Got a one-way ticket, me and Coleman, to Phoenix to pick up a new car. So a couple weeks ago, I wired money to Brian, who has a uh, Mark III Cabriolet VR6 swap, and we're here today to pick it up and drive it all the way back to Texas. Hopefully, we uh, forgot the tools, so if it breaks, we're pretty much fucked. Yeah, it's yeah, fun. Taking the scenic route all the way back. Yeah. So, <laughs> 16 and a half hours. And a cabriolet. Yeah, you know, it's a big car. It's so, fun. yeah. Be all right. Now, the exit is actually behind us, but the men's restroom down there is broken. So we're going this way. Yeah. Ooh, puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. So where are we? We're at Audi North Scottsdale which apparently is joined with a whole shit ton of other dealerships. We've got Porsche, Maserati, Mercedes, Lamborghini, uh, all here in North Scottsdale, which is apparently a pretty nice area. It's a nice one. Look, there's a few nice ones here. Yeah, my new car. This place makes me feel poor. Yeah, we're here to buy a $6,500 car. <laughs> I feel like a loser making a Cars and Coffee video. I mean, you know. I look like a loser making a Cars and Coffee we video. We just flew in. We are cool, though. insecure, too. Don't worry. Like, you know. <laughs> Sick. So Very nice to meet you, Elizabeth. Yeah, you as well. You as well. Yeah. Yep. And this is Coleman. 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 Very nice to meet you nice as well. Nice to meet you, too. Awesome. Yeah, I turned on, like, all these lights on the right. This will be like the smallest car underneath one of these covers. Yeah. Uh, Y'all normally do the covers for, for we, tr we try, but sometimes we just get too busy. So, we saw pictures on Facebook. Just sent the money, bought it blindly, haven't seen it in person, haven't driven it. You know, have some sort of history about it through Vortex and stuff like that. I found your build thread. 
Okay. Going back to that, so I saw some of the awesome. pictures of the car when it was when you just bought just it, bought it. Yep. Uh, which yep. is really cool. Uh, seven years ago, and then you bought a uh, Mark III GTI. NBA GTI. Uh, yep. It swamped all the VR6 stuff over, as well as brakes and brakes, axles, dashboard, front seats, transmission, engine. Um, I think that was it. But the, the I just needed a donor. So Brad at 1552. I've known since 1997. Oh, wow. um, yeah, him and I go way back when they were VW Sport. So I'm just referencing him, and he's like, find a donor that runs. And a friend of mine told me that this yellow car in Tucson, super high mileage, but the guy maintained it, and he was just driving highway miles. So this has a diesel fifth gear in it. Okay. So it'll drone. Yeah. It'll go from fourth to fifth to fourth to fifth. But the guy's like, physically the car's crappy, but mechanically it's sound. So. Um, I'm like, everything's there, it's cheap, drove down, bought it. Uh, within five miles, all the serpentine belt went. <laughs> I'm like, hey, uh, can you come back and uh, bring some tools? He's like, why? I'm like, the alternator line wasn't the alternator line, it was the serpentine belt. Oh, God. So luckily, who's now our shop, our sales service manager, was with me, because I'm like not the mechanic. But um, he brought parts, we found parts uh, at two different auto zones. They had them in stock, and within an hour, back on the road, and that's awesome. it's nothing since then. So, so um, and then Park Score did. Park Score did all the mechanical work, uh, the swap. Um, Josh, that used to own Phoenix Collision and Custom Paint, did all the paint and body work. And then you had it seven years now. Seven years, January 2012. I bought it January 2nd or January 1st, 2012, and then within two weeks bought the donor car, and then. From beginning to end, it went to uh, Occupy Big Bear in October in 2012 at its first show. Wow. Um, and I know you've been to Woos and stuff like that too. Woos multiple times, big SoCal Euro. So at Occupy Big Bear, it won an award for best uh, fitment. So I have this like really nice like HRE 19 inch like face that was their award. That's awesome. Um, the, like, back when they did cool awards. Back when they did cool yeah. awards, yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then a few weeks later, actually no, a few weeks prior was SoCal Euro, uh, which was just a big hangout show in the Big Bear, it was actually like a show show. Uh, so no, yeah, it's been, cars been great. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I know that uh, anybody that I talk to about it knows it. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, I like to keep history with cars, so usually I don't buy cars that are already modified, yeah. but it's very difficult to find, you either get, you get two different kinds of cabs. You either get the one that is total piece of crap for three grand, yeah. Yeah. Or really, really nice, really nice yeah. but the really nice ones are already, you know, yeah. done. Already done. They're already done. Yeah. So we'll probably yeah. change a couple little things out, like the air suspension we talked about and stuff That's like fine. that. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, I, I just like figured pictures the way it is. Yeah, so. no, I just figured if I was going to keep it, eventually I would spend more money on it. Yeah. And I've got the other cars to do that, and the race car and stuff. So it's like yeah, you know, with the vet and the R8 and the RS3 now. now like, like yeah. if we stop crashing the vet into walls, it would be a lot better. And we might try to build a Mark 1 TT track car for next season. Um, so that's why I bought the wrecked one and I'm trying to find another just shitty one that runs uh, to, to gut and cage and then swap parts as we go type of thing. So we'll see if the budget allows. But no, this thing's been my baby. So there's a lot of good memories with this car and all the photos and stuff. And uh, throughout the whole build process, my first partner was in the Mayo Clinic down the street here who diagnosed with leukemia. So I was basically building this while he was there and then going through all that and then the first day I got to drive it, I brought it to the hospital and they like came outside and all of that stuff. So I was thinking about that yesterday and like crying a little bit, but so is the whole process. There was just a lot going on in life and then to do all this in 10 months and keep it under a budget uh, was a pretty big accomplishment. So, um, so shall we unveil it? Yeah, I think so. Cross your fingers. Because I haven't seen it yet. Oh man. It's perfect. Dude. Love the color. Eva, Eva Pictures do zero justice. Zero justice. Zero. Yeah. That's yeah. seven year old paint that's been maintained pretty well. It is yeah. um, literally for the last, say, 15 months, it's been in my garage underneath the car cover, and for the last three months, it's been in my. Store, storage unit, uh, just enclosed in there. So, uh, just had it washed this morning, and it's still in, in this good shape. So, yes. uh, so um, the 
the interior, it's not been cleaned, so I apologize. No, there are fine. like really just. What about the driver? 15. Yeah, no, it's just like the vinyl. Like this, I chose vinyl because you can clean it, and usually I cleaned it with like just Clorox wipes yeah. or like you know heavy duty just leather wipe, and it, it cleans up really nicely. I just haven't really touched the car in forever, so the little body lines that are usually like right here. Yeah. So those were filled. VW badge, they're replica Euro bumpers from Black Forest. Black Forest, we got a lot of stuff in Black Forest Industries for this car. Um, and they helped us out on our Mark 1 too, so. Yeah, yeah. Always a big shout out to those guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But just as a build, you know, trying to be budget oriented. Um, you know, it's an old car, so a lot of stuff was used, some of it was new. Um, Nothing wrong with that. Too many different cars. Yep. So that parts core sticker may just be completely just on that polish because it's been on there. <laughs> it's so, just baked to it. It was soft lines. Jason did the soft lines. Hard lines were just coming into like being cool. Yeah. So two guys locally here that were in like the low rider scene that started getting into Euros used to do all that kind of stuff. And they were at the pavilions one day and they looked at it and they're like, dude, give us the car. Like just charge us. We'll pay you for like the, the hardware, but let us do it. So. The guy's like, I need it for like a day. I'm like, awesome. So yeah, you can good. change any of that if you want. It's been reliable. The only yeah, the, the tank will probably stay because it's color matte. It's so color probably not going to get rid of that. Yeah. Um, I'll probably go black compressor and then 3P. Okay. All right. Front. So what do you think? Love it. Perfect. Hitting the boys with Uzis. <laughs> awesome, man. All right, guys. Good luck at work. Thank you. Awesome nice unit. to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> Will Autry stall? Yes. Probably. Maybe. Give it Maybe. the sauce. Let's see where it hit. Oh, that's not bad. Alright, y'all right, have a good one. Right Alright, let's figure out where we can go. We gotta get gas, pictures. I need to put put around a little bit to get used to this because it's gonna take me a minute. Well, probably gotta put the top up. Here we go. Yeah, it's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hot quick. I don't like it. I have like an hour to kill, two hours to kill, until we're meeting with some like, I think just a bunch of Mark 7 guys. So we're gonna shoot the car with the mountains. You know, I guess we'll see. I don't know how many miles it is back to Texas, but I'd assume it's quite a bit. 16 hours at 80 miles an hour. It's a lot. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We just finished taking pictures of it, so. Best thing is, we have no spare. Brian did a great job with it. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Very tasteful. for a little bit while we wait for the MQB meet and then uh, hit the road to Flagstaff, check out the mountains out there and the 29 degree weather we're supposed to have tomorrow. The cactus are fucking dope out here, dude. Yeah. Massive. Massive cactus. <laughs> Look how bad, I mean, you know, you always see it in like uh, country westerns and stuff like that and pictures and just really can't get an idea of how big these things are, you know? Like, I feel like if you hit it with a truck, it would fuck up the truck. Like, pretty rough. Yeah. I'm sure drunk people have hit these things before. <laughs> on video. Q 
cue it in like now. Oh, I guess we're heading back that way. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably only 11. 11. Yeah. Two hours later. We're making some Mark 7 weirdos. I'm just kidding. So good outside. <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> she didn't have time to get too. Damn, I should have washed my car before I take pictures. I know. Right? <laughs> my car. Did you edit that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Dirty is, as dirty is. It'll be all right. It's daily. I wash my car. Oh yeah, show me. Look at all these Volkswagens. <laughs> Look at all these chickens. <laughs> <laughs> We have a, there's a large group of Mark 7 owners in Dallas. Like we're fortunate, um, but any city I ever go to outside of that, it's really not like that. So it's cool that we flew out here and there's so many. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate everybody coming out, man. I know it was super short notice for most everybody. And worked out. It's Saturday, man. Saturday. We chilling. We finished at 10. I got like 16 hour drive back, so that should be cool. Yeah, dude. <laughs> um, you. We'll keep in contact. Have a good one. Yeah. Have a good right. one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all have fun tonight, too. I think there's See giant guys. meats and stuff yeah. everywhere. It must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Later. <laughs> Later. Let me get your door. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Oh, you left it unlocked. Perfect. The camera gear is gone. Well, it's 215. And the we Mark are, III. Uh, we're passing the dealership again. We've made it nowhere. <laughs> Peasant. So we don't really have AC. So we can't really record much while we're driving because the windows are down. Hello? But look, there's some dirt.
Oh, yeah, recap. Look, we're at uh, a snow resort with no snow. And the sunset was really pretty. And now we gotta go, because it's like 20 degrees or something. <laughs> like, it's it's so not, Archie's, I know, Archie's you can't just a baby. Even see your breath, but it's too cold for me. But look at that, like, that's freaking sick. We're too far from the equator, we gotta go back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little old. Yeah, it's good. Bye, sunset. Okay, it's cold. Bye. 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 Okay, where'd the Mifi, Mofi, Mufi thing go? The what? <laughs> the charger. Oh, it's in the your backpack still. Dad. Oh. That was worth the trip to the top, though. It was worth the trip to the top. I'm glad we could do it, even though it was quick. And yeah, quick, Sun dirty. Yeah, but it's worth it. Like, mm. yeah, we'll hopefully get some. Huh? Price work. That's good. Might That's need, good. Uh, might need those on the. Yeah, we don't want to hit an elk. Nice. Here, man. Third. Okay. Here, man. Third. Probably this whole time. So curvy. <laughs> well, the problem is like. I can't see really. Yeah. Like, I mean, I can see. Like, if I was on the interstate, I'd be fine. But like here, it's it's, it's dark. Yeah. Like I know, like y'all can see wanna, on camera, but it's dark. I wanna turn the uh, elk or deer. Uh, this is a bunch of mule deer. Look at them go. Huh? Oh, there's another one coming. Go, Linda. They're gone. You can't see them anymore. It's dark. It's only 7.38 here. Yeah. My body is dying. Yeah, well that's because it's like 9.40 at home. We've been up since, I, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. Yeah, I woke up at 4. Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Might as well be 4. Yeah. I got some coffee. Let's see if this works. Oh. Fucking in, boys. We could fucking, we could go all night now. <laughs> Some mountains. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, I'm tired of being in the car. Right. Then turn eight, left on Coors eight Boulevard Northwest. Hours, 46 minutes. So not oh, fucking shit. hour. What? Drop the phone. Oh. You felt it, right? Yeah, I think I felt it. It's like the right front. And someone's up with it. No indication that anything's wrong. Just based off looking at like bolts and everything, everything's fine. So it's either a wheel hub or that strut mount. But man, that's getting bad. That was that's some serious. But at least we know now it's not falling apart. I guess it could be the axle, but there's no torn boot or anything. Breakfast? That's a McDonald's? Yeah, breakfast. 
So the only place around appears to be a giant Walmart. Very nice Walmart, actually. Um, doesn't appear as though they're going to be able to help us, though. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just limp it back and try. It's only 600 fucking miles. But look at this scenery we have. We also got this very pretty thing here. Oh, no way. That's new. Yeah, oh, that's nice. sick. Place you got a stoplight, you're going to turn left at the stoplight. You can see coast to coast right there on the right side. Perfect. Thank you so much. So they open the tent? Yeah. Well, wish us luck. It's 8.30. <laughs> that place opens the tent. The destination is on your right. Coast to Coast Automotive Performance and Tires. Oh. Arrived. Where are you coming from? Hi. Who are you? and the top's going out. It's super common for the bearings to go out. Mm -hmm. I'm not overly concerned about the clunking. It got a little worse on the way here, but it's also been cold. Uh, mainly, I'm just wanting y'all to take off the wheel, hit every bolt all the way top to bottom, then visually inspect it, make sure everything's good, and then put it back together. Well, it's good from the top. Yeah. It looked a little funny. If there, that's why I had you turn your wheel. No, it's fine. It's not going anywhere well, now. Fixed. <laughs> that was probably it. I didn't see any grease or anything. It's good. Should be all right. Yeah. There's no, there's no plane. No cling cling bang bang. It's all right. <laughs> I don't even want to come back out here, dude. It's cold. It's pretty chilly. Like it's pretty chilly. It's pretty chilly. You guys ought to write me down the link to this. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a. Uh, I don't have any cards with I want the link though. Yeah. If I'm gonna be on YouTube, I wanna <laughs> see it. <laughs> <You> wanna... <laughs> yeah, it'll be it'll be a week from Yeah, because a this, week from this, this week Wednesday. Is another Mark One video and then it'll be next week, so. If we make it back. <laughs> if, we, if we make it back. Oh you'll make it Take note, he's torquing. Y'all should do that. Torquing to spec. People don't. Just three Ugga Duggas <laughs> is good to go. Hundred pounds. <laughs> Ronnie? Ronnie? It's nice to meet Thanks you. Thanks for helping us out. Let me, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me grab you uh, right. oh, yeah, so you can find the YouTube thing. Look up BMP Tuning on uh, on YouTube and you can find us. Okay. And then, and then we'll be on there. Yeah. I'll remember your face. Just say right. anything to yourself. Later. Way worse. I'm gonna go back this way. But we know everything's tight. So that's the important thing. Yeah. Whatever. I'm fucking going back now, boys. It is what it is. Send it. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't have any issues. Whatever. If we do, it vibrates, it vibrates.
weather, we'd be stuck in one of the storms. We'll film it like okay, this. Look, look, look. <laughs> we'll it's film it like a vlog. the camera facing me. Yeah. Right? It's totally just the fact that it's not with the flow. I'm not just talking about this. Yeah. I'm having to talk about why I'm talking about what I'm talking what about. What we're talking about. See? Super difficult to do that way. I don't know. We can, we can yeah, vlog we it. fucking made it back. Look, the car is fucking back. It made it back. Here it is in Dallas. Not fucked up. Help Coleman keep his fucking job. Yeah. Like and subscribe so he doesn't fire me. That'd be cool. And we can keep doing this stuff. <laughs> we can keep buying yeah, we, stupid let's things. See. In the next two weeks, we're going back to Arkansas to hopefully fix the uh, Mark One and get it back here. Um, then we have uh, nothing. There's nothing after that. Holy shit! We gotta well, buy we have BMW, car. BMW stuff that they don't know about. True. True. We do have some BMW stuff they don't know about. But I have to, I have to buy another car, man. Okay. Let's buy another car. Oh. Okay. <laughs>